How would you spend a day in Nandi, Fiji? Nandi is home to Fiji's main international airport and thus is the gateway to this spectacular country. Is Nandi somewhere you should add to your Fiji itinerary or simply somewhere you should use as a stepping stone on the way to the real beauty of Fiji? With local markets, incredible gardens, traditional Fijian mud baths, and spectacular food, Nandi is bursting with character and culture. As such, we definitely think it deserves a spot on your Fiji itinerary. Come with us to see why we recommend Nandi as one of the must-see places in Fiji. Bula. Bula. Good morning. We woke up very early due to the time difference in jet lag, so we're just on a morning walk getting ready for our day in Nandi. Yes, we're excited. We did a bunch of research beforehand on Nandi to see what to do, and we didn't see a ton of information about what it was like, so we don't really know what to expect, but uh, we have open minds and excited to see what we're gonna find today. So we just got here to Nandi, Fiji, and we're at the market. It's the first thing we're doing, and it's awesome. There's so much fun produce, so many amazing, really nice people. And it's fresh. So much of it is grown on the island, which just blows my mind. It's so good. This is a great way to be introduced to the kind and welcoming culture of Fiji. As we walked through the market, we were greeted with so many smiling faces, warm bulas, and lots of fresh fruit. Do we eat today or tomorrow? Today or tomorrow? Two, yes. Then tomorrow it will be a little more soft. Okay. What you got there? I got some papaya, nice and fresh, some lime. We have some good breakfast, good snacks here. We should be all set for breakfast. This place is awesome. It's it's huge. Like, and there's so much fun local produce. If you can see. The next stop for us was the Garden of the Sleeping Giant. This garden sits at the bottom of the Sleeping Giant Mountain, which can be seen from all throughout Nandi. It is called the Sleeping Giant because of the mountain's distinct outline, which looks like a person who is lying down sleeping. This garden is home to more than 2,000 different kinds of orchids, which are absolutely breathtaking. After a trip through the delicately beautiful orchids, the path takes you through the tropical rainforest of Fiji to a large lily pond and to the base of the sleeping giant mountain. This is a wonderful place to spend an afternoon out of the hot Fijian sun. For those wanting a more strenuous hike, there is a path through the tall Fijian grass to an overlook with great views of the landscape and the ocean. Our trip to the Garden of the Sleeping Giant was topped off with some absolutely delicious tropical juice, which really hit the spot after our hike to the top. Okay, what do we got here? Okay, the drinks in here, this is what we call the tropical fruit juice. Consists of, of a mango, orange, guava, pineapple, passion fruit. Wow. Most delicious mixture. Drink is amazing. They gave us some Fijian. This is my fourth one. <laughs> so. If that says anything about it, but it was awesome, especially back home. It's cold and lonely, so. 
to be here in the jungle with your friends. What's better than that? <laughs> After four glasses of tropical juice and some awesome conversation with the local Fijians, we were ready for the next part of our adventure, a Fijian mud bath at the Sabeto Hot Springs. The locals at the village said that they take a mud bath every day to keep their skin healthy and in their words, as soft as the bottom of a baby's bum. The mud is said to have natural antibiotics which promote healthy and soft skin. Rachel and I were excited to try it out and hopefully look a few years younger. We were a little bit worried about getting into hot water with the hot weather, but it turned out to be not a problem. Once the mud started to dry, it actually cooled us off a bit. After covering ourselves in mud and waiting about 15 minutes for it to dry, we were ready to start washing off in hot spring number one. Made most of the mud off with us. <laughs> Most of it. And now we're just hanging out. Hot spring. It was really nice. Really nice. After about 15 minutes in pool number one, we moved to pool number two, which was similar but a little bit hotter. Pool number two, pretty warm. Yes, hotter than the first pool. <laughs> Very hot. After a quick rinse in pool number two, we had most of the mud off us, which meant it was finally time for our favorite pool. Pool number three was in a nice shaded area and the water temperature was just right. This was a great place to relax and hang out. The last pool was pool number four, which was by far the hottest and the one we spent the least amount of time in. Pool number four. The hottest pool. <laughs> we finished the mud bath feeling relaxed and with really soft skin. Jason and I both agree that this was a super fun and unique activity. It was well worth the 15 US dollars. It's a great way to experience the local Fijian culture and feel the kind and welcoming spirit of the people there. After the mud baths, we had built up an appetite, so the next stop on our day adventure in Nandi was a local Fijian restaurant called Kanu. This was recommended to us by a few of the locals, and it definitely lived up to the hype. Kanu is a contemporary dining experience which uses native ingredients and sustainably sourced seasonal produce. The menu changes depending on the season, and it is a blend of cooking techniques from throughout all of Fiji. It combines traditional Fijian dishes and ingredients with modern techniques and influences from throughout the Pacific. The service was amazing and everything we got was absolutely delicious. To our surprise, the chef provided us with an appetizer of kakonda and cassava. Kakonda is a fresh tangy fish dish like a ceviche, so it was very refreshing after a long day in the sun. Cassava is a root vegetable very similar to a potato. We thought the cassava tasted like a better version of the US French fry. Our appetizers were followed by a main dish of shrimp curry for Jason and Cajun fish and chips for me. Yeah. We're at Kanu. This is the Cajun fish and chips. Everything so far has been so good. This place is really cute. After our main course, we tried the traditional Fijian dessert of baka lava lava. We left Kanu stuffed and grateful for the amazing first day we had in Fiji. The energetic morning market, beautiful garden of the sleeping giant, unique and fun mud bath, and finally delicious local cuisine all together made for a spectacular day. While each of these places by themselves were awesome, 
What really made Nandi stand out for us were the people. The Fijian people were so kind and happy. Everywhere we went, we were greeted with a bula and a warm smile which we couldn't help but return in exchange. As we finished our day in Nandi, we couldn't help but realize that happiness in life has nothing to do with what material objects we own and everything to do with our relationships, purpose, and how we help and serve others. Our day in Nandi really was the perfect start to our trip and made us excited to experience the rest of what this spectacular country has to offer. Hey everyone, we hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked this video or found it useful, it would really help us out if you gave it a like. If you want to see more of our upcoming Fiji content, be sure to subscribe. As always, we hope you have an amazing day.